Hey everyone, um, Mr. Simons here. I am going to, um, I decided I would level the playing field and make a video about each type of problem on your Alex assignment, your little seven question Alex assignment. And uh, I would do it by showing myself working on an iPad. So um, when you watch this, this should be a pretty authentic, look at what you're dealing with as you're doing um, the problem, right? It should, it should look like this. And like I said, I am doing this on an iPad. So it's, uh, and I haven't, I haven't tried this yet, so I haven't practiced. So you're gonna see me fumble around with it probably the same way you will. Um, although I wouldn't be surprised if you guys were a little better at that part of it than me. Um, so let's get going. And the first thing we're gonna do is, is um, the, this little assignment is broken up into, I believe, three different kinds of questions. So you get two questions with protractor, using a protractor, right? And then you've got two or three questions, I can't remember. So there's three questions with, um, with triangles, and we'll go through those in the second video. And then there's two questions with uh, that are also on triangles. The first three questions on triangles are on their, their area, finding their area by using um, a grid. And then um, the last two questions on triangles are just on the classifications of triangles. And I'll talk about those in the, in the other two videos I'm gonna make. So let's get, uh, let's get going. Let's look at, um, at problems one and two here. All right, so it says use the protractor to find the degree measure of the angle. Make sure to write your answer with the degree sign. So when you use a protractor, and the, the protractor in Alex, all right, um, it's, the trick is you have to align the vertex of the angle. Now the vertex is that spot where the two rays meet, all right? So you've got one ray going off to the left here. Um, uh, I wish I had a pointer I could use in here, but you can kind of see it. And then there's a ray going down to the right. And the angle they want you to measure is the one that has the, the swoop, the little curve in it, all right? So when I hit the protractor tool, what you want to do is that green circle shows you kind of where like the zero is, like where you want to line the protractor up. So you're going to take the protractor and you're going to put it right over where that vertex is and then just leave it, all right? And once you, once you take your finger off it, it anchors it. Then what you want to do is you want to take this where it says zero and you want to put that, there's, there's one of two places you could put it. You could put it right down here, right? Or you could rotate it all the way around and put it right there. Okay, so the thing is where you want to put it is you want to put it where the angle is inside the protractor, not outside the protractor. So like if I do it like this, right? If I put it right there, okay? You'll notice that, you know, it, the angle's bigger than 180 degrees. And that's kind of, you know, for this kind of a protractor, that's kind of silly. And we don't want, we don't want to measure that angle anyway. The angle we're measuring, in other words, that little, that little blue swoop that's going inside the vertex, which in this case is underneath the vertex in this picture, um, should be basically inside the protractor. So the way you want this protractor going is you want it going like this, all right? Then you have one side aligned at zero, which is perfect. So if you look at the left ray, right? Not the one going down, but the one going um, horizontally out to the left is marked at zero. And so you just need it calibrated at zero. And then you just kind of follow the protractor and you look where that other blue ray goes. And that blue ray comes, um, the other blue ray comes out between 130 and 140 and it's right at 135 it looks like, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap in, we're gonna put in 135, all right, if it lets me, there we go. 135, we're gonna hit this box with the degree sign and then it puts the degree sign on there because 135 what? Well, it's 135 degrees. That's why labels are important in math because we're not usually just talking about abstract numbers. We're usually talking about numbers that mean something. So, you know, are you talking about inches? Are you talking about gallons? Are you talking about, um, you know, pounds per square inch? What are you talking about? So you need, you need your label. And in this case, our label is degrees. 
So let's click check. And it likes our answer. Good. So let's, let's try number two. See how this goes. All right, same deal. Let's click this. So look, find where your vertex is. Well, your vertex is where the two rays meet. All right. And then that angle that's marked between the two. So in other words, this is an acute angle, right? It's less than, it's less than um, 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to grab this. We're going to line this up right at the X. And now, like I said, there's, there's two lines. I could line it up like this, or I could line it up over here. Well, if I line it up over here like that, that doesn't really help me because the angle is not inside the protractor, and this isn't the angle we want to measure. We want to measure this angle right here. Okay? So now we look at, uh, you make sure one of them is lined up at zero, which it is, and the other one is going to, looks like 65. So we're going to put in 65, get rid of our keyboard, and then hit our degree button, and Let's check it. Sweet. Let's do one more, just to make sure we're, we're good on this. All right, this one, it looks like it's bigger than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180. And the, the angle that you want to find is always the one that has that little arc inside of it, OK? So let's take the protractor. Let's put it right on the vertex. All right, that looks good. And then let's move this side over to 0, because then that puts the angle kind of inside the, the angle we want to measure is the one that's inside the protractor. Okay, and so it looks like it goes from zero to about 125. So 125, hit that, and you are good to go. So I hope this is helpful to, uh, to those of you who you know are intimidated by using a protractor or anything. This is definitely a lot easier than using a real protractor, but um, yeah, so Hope this helps you. Um, next video, we will talk about um, the area of triangles.